Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. The story we gonna recap today is of 2007 movie name, Normal. The film is about a group of unrelated people who are brought together in the wake of a deadly car crash. The film was directed by Carl Bessai and stars Carrie Ann Moss, Kevin Zedgers, Callum Keith Rennie, and Andrew Early. Now by not wasting any more time let's recap the movie. But first if you haven't subscribed my channel then please hit the subscribe button immediately. And as a quick reminder this video contains spoilers so Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Film starts with a Catherine's voiceover, states, she adored her son Nikki and had never imagined things would change but Nikki is now dead. Then we saw Catherine Nikki's mother appears she is still grieving the loss of her son. Brady another son of Catherine was traveling with his father Dale. Catherine stopped them and gave Brady a raincoat. After some time she calls her husband Dale but he doesn't treat Catherine well. After that scene shifts to college where a lecturer named Walter appears. After the lecture as everyone is beginning to leave a girl named Sherry. Approaches him to chat and inquired about the course. Walter spoke to her politely and she was acting like a good student. Then scene shifts to jail where boy named Jordy is sitting alone. He is currently in jail for stealing a car. Then jail counselor visited Jordy and warned him not to do anything that would place him back in jail. Jordy makes a vow to him that he won't do such things again but while they were still talking some basketball players accidentally bumped Jordy which enraged him and causes him to fight which was stopped by the counselor. Later we saw Dennis, brother of Walter. He was acting strangely and was locked in a room. This is because of an accident he had while driving with his brother Walter. Dennis was shocked by the accident and didn't leave his room. Again scene shifts to Catherine. She wasn't feeling well and had become irate with everyone whenever she thought about her son Nicky. Later in the evening we find that Jordy had served his time in prison, and his father had arrived to pick him up. Jordy's father then informs him that his mother is concerned about him, which enraged Jordy and he replied that she is not his mother. Here it has been revealed that Jordy's father was speaking about his stepmother, Elise, and it's pretty obvious that Jordy doesn't like her much. In this scene while father and son talking, we learn that Jordy had an accident after stealing the car. This is the accident which links all the characters of the movie. Then scene shifts to Dale, who brings Catherine home, because she occasionally experiences panic attack and forgets that her son Nicky has passed away. Dale comforts her and puts her to bed but when he returns to his room later he notices that Catherine is crying. The following morning at the breakfast table Jordan's father warned him that he would stop supporting him if he didn't get a job by the following Sunday. On other hand Dale tells Catherine to drop Brady off at school because he is busy. Dale also advised Catherine to move on and accept what has happened. Later that day Walter went to see his brother Dennis. He tries to get Dennis to leave his room but Dennis was not paying attention and was acting irrationally. Following that Walter visits a psychiatrist who by chance was the father of Jordy. While Walter narrating the incident to Jordy's father, he understood that the accident Walter is narrating is the one in which his son Jordy was involved. And the boy lost his life was Nicky, Catherine's son, so he decided to end the treatment session because at that point it is discovered that Nicky and Jordy are friends. And they both were in the car at the time of accident and the other car was of Walter's and his brother Dennis. Jordy's father informs Walter that he cannot continue the session since it is personal for him. Catherine on the other hand visits the location of her son's death every day. And after she returns home she visits her son's room cleans it and spends some time there crying. After few days Brady notices her and enters the room Catherine tells him not to enter the room. Jordy visited a pizza restaurant in search of job. The manager inquired about his offense after learning that he had served time in jail. Jordy refuses to discuss it and the manager warns him they won't be able to provide him a job if he doesn't tell him everything. After some discussion the manager hires Jordy. However in next scene we saw Walter arguing with his wife and in an effort to resolve the conflict he takes her to a restaurant. When they returns home. Walter watches the news on his TV while his wife wants to kiss and seduce him. But he declines, because he isn't in the mood of making love. Then we saw the reason of Walter's declining her wife, which is the news reporter who was none other than Sherry, the same student of Walter in which he shows interest. Then scene shifts to Jordy who was jerking off while watching porn in his room. And suddenly his stepmother Elise enters the room. She apologized when Jordy became enraged and fled. Later as Jordy sits alone in a park, Melissa an old acquaintance of his approaches and tries to engage him in conversation. 
Jordi on the other hand speaks to her impolitely which infuriates her and prompts her to leave. After feeling guilty Jordi follows her and starts talking to her. Then we saw Walter gets home and notices his wife leaving the house. He attempts to stop her but she ignores him and heads to her sister's house. Later Dennis appears upset because his girlfriend called him and for the first time he talks to her politely she invites him to meet but he hang up the call. Then scene shifts to Catherine, who goes for shopping where she sees a woman with her son and everything about that makes her think of Nikki. When she comes back home she starts crying while remembering her son. On other hand Walter advises Dennis to go out after hearing about his girlfriend however Dennis was still hesitant to leave. The following day Jordy's stepmother visits him in his room and apologizes for yesterday. She wanted to wash his clothing but Jordy said he would wash them with the laundry. Elise tried to talk to him but Jordy became enraged and said she wasn't his mother. Then we saw Walter in college where he was carring books and while walking some of the books dropped at that point his student Sherry comes to help. Then Sherry assists Walter till his home where they fall in sexual encounter with each other. While Catherine was crossing the street she spotted a child and began following him when she tries to speak with him he realizes that she was mistaken in thinking and he was not her dead son. After some time at home Catherine is enjoying supper with her husband and son Brady. Suddenly Catherine urges her son to play basketball when he responds that he isn't good at it. Catherine then reminds him that his father and brother were both basketball players and that he should be like them eventually her husband order her to stop. Later Elise is getting dressed after shower and Jordy enters her room and she tells him to leave but he doesn't listen to her. Jordy starts kissing firstly she pretends to stop him but later she doesn't stop him even she gave him green signal by dropping her towel. Then Jordy pushes her naked stepmother on bed and start fucking her. They were in the middle of sex when Jordy's father unexpectedly returns home. Jordy quickly hides in the bathroom. Jordy's father came in room and saw her wife naked on bed. He was going to bathroom to change but Elise stopped him and asked him to get in bed with her. He accepts the offer and finished what his son started. While from bathroom Jordy watches his father fucking his stepmother Elise, then silently goes out of the room. The next day Brady was trying to play basketball but he isn't very talented and he was playing to please his mother meanwhile by mistake Dale was doing some work and cut his finger when Brady comes inside to fetch the first aid box and his mother notices him holding Nikki's basketball. She becomes irate and informs him that she has warned him repeatedly not to touch Nikki's stuff. On which Brady becomes furious and informs his mother that Nikki has passed away. Then scene shifts to Jordy and Elise where they were kissing and fucking each other in the absence of Jordy's father and this is how they are continuing their relationship. Later on as Jordy is at work Melissa arrives and they begin conversing the manager overhears them and urges Jordy to perform his duties. Later that evening while Catherine was alone her son came over to get a water. When she tries to speak with him he tells her not to bother and left. Catherine then goes to Brady room where Brady is sleeping. Catherine stares him till very long with heartfelt regrets. On other hand Melissa comes to Jordy's home where they begin chatting which turns into kissing. Jordy's mother Elise watches them and asks Jordy to introduce his friend to her. When Jordy introduces Melissa to her, she reacts enviously. Then we saw Walter goes to meet his brother Dennis. While they are conversing Dennis begins to hide as Sylvie arrives and Walter tells him to speak with Sylvie. And after some time he talks to her. The next day while Melissa and Jordy are having fun at the park Jordy suddenly falls from the swing and Melissa jumps off intentionally. Then Melissa asks him about Elise. He told her that Elise is not his birth mother and he doesn't think of her as his mother. Melissa says she noticed how Elise was staring at her as if Melissa stealing her lover. After hearing this, Jordy warns Melissa not to mention his stepmother again. Melissa asks his feelings towards her. Jordy acknowledges his feelings for her and begins kissing her. Then scene moves towards Sherry and Walter both half-naked on bed. After sex Sherry told Walter that he gave her his first interview two years ago, when he had an accident meanwhile Walter dislikes discussing about accident. On other hand Jordy left the job and goes to meet Melissa after some time he comes home to change his t-shirt at that time his stepmother comes and tries to stop him because she wants to talk to him. However he doesn't listen and goes out. At that night Jordy has nightmares about his accident. So Jordy calls Catherine and asks her to meet because that night in his car her son Nikki was with him. The following day Catherine arrives to meet Jordy, and they begin conversing. Jordy apologizes to her and admits that it was his plan to steal the car but they were unfortunate to have an accident. Because the car in front of him was moving quickly he missed it. Jordy blames the entire incident to himself. Catherine replies that it was all her mistake if he had spent more time with her kid he wouldn't have done that. Later Dennis calls Walter and says that Sylvia has called him and wants to go out with her when Walter hears this he becomes happy. On other hand Catherine returns home and burns everything belongs to Nikki because she decided to move on with her life. Dale arrived and tried to put out the fire. 
Then Catherine apologized to her son Brady and informed him that she would be staying with his aunt for a few days. Walter meets Dennis and gets him ready for a night out. Dennis is going out after two years. At that moment Walter understands that he needs to apologize to Nikki's mother. When Jordy returns home he tries to speak with his stepmother. But Jordan's father starts hitting him right away because Elise told his father everything. Jordy begins punching his father as well. Elise enters and brings her husband to car. Later that evening Walter arrived to meet Catherine. She recognizes him and start hitting him. Her husband Dale tries to stop her but she was unstoppable. After some time she stopped. Walter apologizes to her but Catherine doesn't accept his apology and leave. Later we saw Melissa and Jordy traveling somewhere on a bus. Meanwhile Dennis is in the same bus thrilled that after two years he finally got to see his girlfriend. And this is the end of the movie.